Honorable, and thank you for having us here at A.J. Brown. And thank you for the positive messages that I could read at any time. So I, I'm going to start tomorrow doing tomorrow night's board meeting. <laughs> thank you so much for that. The, I also want to thank uh, teacher Mr. Del, Delegati. Thank you so much for the work that you do here at H.A. Brown and for the work that you do in sharing these types of approaches with your colleagues. This is all made possible. This is Computer Science Week. Did you all know that? Did you know that, that this week is Computer Science Week? Um, and so, uh, and I'm sorry, my apologies. Good afternoon, boys and girls. Good afternoon, Dr. I'm so sorry we didn't do that before. And, but th this week is Computer Science Week. And during Computer Science Week, we are talking about a lot of the opportunities that our young people have to engage in these types of activities. Through a grant that we have received from the governor, the governor of the Commonwealth, and it, the grant is called PA Smart Grant, we've been able to do these types of things in more of our schools across the city of Philadelphia. Uh, as a matter of fact, we've increased the number of advanced placement computer science classes, we've increased programs like FIRST Robotics, um, and we've increased opportunities for young people like you to have access to the types of tools that are down in front of you. I'd like to also thank Dr. Fran Newberg, who's already been referenced earlier today. She, Dr. Newberg is a deputy of the district's Office of Educational Technology, and Luke Bilger, our Director of Educational Technology, thanks to both of you for the work that you do in support of this. We also have what's called a Board of Education, and that Board of Education actually approves all of, the, all of our budgets that allow us to direct these types of resources to schools. One of those board members is here with us today, and can you help me, boys and girls, recognize Mr. Lee Wong. He's a board member. Today we're proud to celebrate Computer Education Science Week. Uh, it's the eighth consecutive, eighth consecutive year that the School District of Philadelphia has been a part of it. Behind me, over here, I think it says that the, there behind me you see a sign that says the difference between not knowing and not knowing yet. And this is why it is so exciting to get young people engaged around computer science. Because learning to speak the language of coding in the language of computer science and to use it as tools well, to help you solve problems that you are confronted with now and in the future. And it will be key for your success both in college or in the world of work. So even right now, even if you don't know everything about the coding that you are doing, you're getting an early start that will help you shape your future regardless of the career path or the college path you choose. The district has made great strides in expanding access to computer science. We currently have over 53,000 students across all school district of Philadelphia schools who are enrolled in computer science courses. And it makes me extremely proud to indicate that 130 K-8 schools just like H.A. Brown are doing that, along with 27 high schools that offer computer science courses. And I look forward to bringing our digital literacy curriculum to more schools that, so that all children will have this experience. Computer Science Education Week is one of my favorite times of the year because it gives me the opportunity to learn from all of you. And all this week, there are professional development opportunities for educators and opportunities for students to participate in an hour of code. So Del Delegati, I think you talked about this earlier. Last year, more than 26,000 School District of Philadelphia students participated. And as of 12.30 today, and that, it is, that was 25 minutes ago, we had 14,000 students across 128 schools participating in an hour of code as well. Students, now it's time for me to learn something from you. I'm eager for you to show off your skills. And so, Principal Carnival, to Mr. Delegati, thank you for your leadership and your commitment in helping these young people prepare for the success, their future success, by taking advantage of this really important opportunity. And so with that, thank you all for being here. Now, I thank Mr. Delegati, it's time for us to learn from the young people who are here, and I encourage all of our guests to feel free to ask them questions about the work that they're doing. 
you want to tell us how to do this? Or? <laughs> so they're working on uh, Ozobot maps where they're coding their Ozobot based on the type of obstacle that they approach. And there's different movements that they can use to sort of represent that. I've used this activity as like a starting point for a future writing activity that's part of the code them also. So like something like this, they would practice the coding and then from that they could use it as like an opportunity to you know be creative, write a story. Um, we've done like slideshows with animation, you know, based on these kind of activities. So this is a part of you know like a larger um, uh, experience for them. So once they finish this, I have a second activity for them where they'll be able to modify and create their own map where they'll draw the lines and everything. It'll be their you know 100% um, you know their vision. So if you had any other questions? I guess these guys will answer them for you. Uh, so that's it. So thank you for coming. Alright boys and girls, you can get started on your activity. If you guys are toward the end, because I know we started already, then we can move on to the grid paper. If you have any questions about that, uh, let me know and I'll be around to kind of guide you guys through it. Well, you, you don't want to use a pen. Good afternoon boys and girls. Good afternoon, Ms. Carnival. As principal of H.A. Brown, I want to start off with thank yous. Thank you, Dr. Hyde, for your continued leadership and support. Thank you, Dr. Newberg, for your vision and support with upgrading of computer labs, such as this one, and for the blended learning grants, which we are also a recipient of because we have our Chromebook carts in the classroom, correct? Yes. And thank you to the Limbach Foundation because their grant continued to support and upgrade our technology school-wide. Thank you to Philly Fundamentals and Burger Brawl for their support for purchasing a Chromebook cart for our kindergarten students. And thank you for, to WHYY for their grant and providing us a broadcast news lab and support for our students who are also recording this event today. Due this to the support offered by all of these partners, we have smart boards in every classroom. We have a digital literacy lab and a WHYY lab. Every classroom K-8 has a Chromebook cart and every pull-out program has a mini lab. Our students from kindergarten through eighth grade learn how to keyboard, code, conduct research projects using Word docs or Google docs. Our students, K through, our students in grades two through eight learn how to use equipment, create videos to represent their learning. Grades two through eight can learn robotics to continue their support. And we appreciate that, Dr. Height and Dr. Newberg. We are able to implement a full blended learning station rotation program here at H.A. Brown. These opportunities have helped us to improve student attendance, demonstrate three years of increased PSSA scores in reading, math, and science, and we have demonstrated increased individual student growth scores. On behalf of our families and students, we thank you for giving our students opportunities to demonstrate their talents as well as our teachers for having the technology to connect lessons to our students' interests. Dr. Height, please accept this container of kindness that our staff has created, and we started last year, to give you positive messages on behalf of our staff that you can read at your leisure Beautiful. to start your day. Beautiful, thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, my name is Richard Delagati, and I'm the digital literacy teacher here at H.A. Brown. I wanted to start by welcoming you all to our lab and saying that I feel fortunate to have this position. I say that because I feel like it's an important class for our students and their lives today and in their future. <coughs> As for covering the content of this week's Hour of Code, we have several tools in the lab that we integrate, including our tablets and our robots. Um, we use our tablets to work through puzzles that become increasingly more difficult as well as program their own, as students use them also uh, to program their own environments and create their own puzzles. The robots are a fun way to expand these skills and increase engagement and cooperative learning. As I consider what we would do today as an activity, I realized that I wanted to show that this class is a hands-on, trial and error, and mistakes welcome class. At H.A. Brown, we, we encourage a growth mindset in our students. The students will have Ozobots that zigzag or misbehave in one way or another, and we view this as a chance to ask, what can we do different? Um, what can we improve to be more successful in the future? So in closing, I want to thank you all for coming and for your continued commitment to digital literacy. 
and I hope you enjoy your visit. Thank you. You got to do it I can't do my side. I can't do it. Thank you. I had to Google it. It makes no sense. I've got to Google things too. What? Well, I'll do for this to go. This is the way to go. You don't need it. Why do you need to do five fractions? Yeah. Put your code on there. You can still use your obstacles. Oh, that's the scratch paper. Yeah. You can do one all the way from scratch. You guys finished, why don't you share your map that you made with your I got started from the pole and then I got a little bit You can start out, if you want to do it from that direction, that's fine. It's your map, so whatever you think. Okay.